and I didn't know that God was just saying no wait so by God's grace this year when our mommy asked me to be chairman again I said ma no way one thing occurred to me and it was I, I believe it was the voice of the spirit said look if you are chairman again this year then number one a lot of people will be looking up to you and the way we had been meeting it's a matter of you know collective responsibility and a committee that has been doing this so deliberately one or two times i excuse myself from the meetings so that no hand will be on me anyway long and short of it to the glory of god the committee was working the committee kept planning and here we are and to the glory of god beyond what anybody could have arranged beyond what anybody could have prepared we know that trans is already a movement and the the name of the lord is already being glorified for me that i can come back here after is it four years now and be a part of this same movement i want to say i'm grateful to god i'm grateful to all the almighty god and i'm grateful to the god of trans and i know that by his grace we have just started praise ye the lord Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. I want to Praise the Lord. I want to give God the glory. I want to thank God for this, for the privilege to give his testimony. Naturally, I'm the timid type. Of course, yesterday I should have given this testimony, but I was like, God, you know, I wanted to make a prayer point, you know, it just come in my head that in this place, can't you ask God for help? And God reminded me, a prayer I prayed here some years ago, so I'll just summarize this for time. You know, that year it was during Daughter of Zion uh, program. I had, when my mom died, I happened to be the only female child of my parents, so I became the mother of my siblings. So it was only our last one that I have not got married then. So, by God's mercy, that same year, she got, you know, he got married. So, but some things happened. And I just want to cut short the story. We eventually lost that lady, and I was really devastated, sincerely, because I was like a mother. So, after a few years, the boy, you know, got married again. We started trusting God for the fruit of wood. You know, after about a year or two, she just called me, ah, thank God my wife took in. I was so happy because we've been praying. So that day, I was to come for Daughter of Zion that year. I don't know whether 2018 or so, or 2017. I, I was in my place of work. My elder brother just called to me. I said, did you hear what happened to Shola? I said, you know, say, ah, and the wife lost the pregnancy. <sighs> and it was the same trend. No, immediately, it just happened in my spirit that, it was the same trend that happened to that other one. Ah, I became so sad. I came here, you know, with everybody. So I came on Friday, very early on Saturday before anybody come to the camp. I came here, I knelt down, and I was begging God. Because it was so real that it's the same way. And I started begging God, I can't afford it to bury my brother's wife Again, I was shedding tears. I was crying. So I called my husband because I already left home. I was to come to camp. I told him. And when I came to camp, I called our family friend, the Ayodeles. I told them. So we started praying. To cut long story short, God shows mercy by revealing the roots of that problem. And one of those things is that this young man we not we get married to four wives they will keep dying 
before and without a child on earth before he will follow them. So we, and God just told us, just do seven days vigil, which the Yayo Daily joined us with my husband. I told some of my siblings, except that the boy. So we started praying, and God showed us mercy. As I standing here, to the glory of God Almighty, that same young boy, they have relocated to UK. The, the first child came, you know, he came in 2021. The second uh, baby came this year. The God has blessed the family with two wonderful children. And you know when my brother called me, when he told me she lost that pregnancy, that's what made me to cry. You know, my brother is a, is a medical doctor. He said, Debbie, let me tell you the truth. Uh, we must just, we just need mercy. Because so many things was wrong with him, with her kidney issue. He said, she has this, she has that, she has that. And what terminal diseases. But God show up for us. And here I am to give all the glory to the ancient of days, who alone can deliver and can show me mercy. Praise the Lord. Oh, Mama, I want to tell you what I want to do. I want to tell you what I want to do. I want to tell you what I want to do. I want to tell you what I want to do. I want to tell you what I want pe kiru nkan to sele ni akoko ko ma tu se sele mo si ogo olorun olorun gbo adura won aburo won na o ti bi mo o wa ni ilu oke okun bayi eke hallelujah hallelujah i've come to testify to the fact that the fire that god chose to release again through this year's trance had been burning even before the name trance ever existed because I happen to have encountered uh, Pastor Joshua on campus when we were together as students. Then he was not yet my sister's husband, but they were on the same campus. I was on a different campus. But that fire had been burning God had chosen to channel that fire through his life, even from campus days, to the point that he was very pivotal to bringing the two campuses, Congo campus and main campus together. One of the things, if you mention his name, for anyone who attended um, Amadou Bello University Zaria, they will remember the Joint Campus Christian Fellowship. It was, a, it was an altar of fire. And he would say, columns of fire, columns of smoke. Columns of, that is, that, people, you know that kind of, this was 80, 80s, between 85 and 88, you know. Columns of fire, people, you know, what are students, young people doing with fire? They are, you have come to campus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to get your degree and go your way. But God had, by covenant, chosen to channel that fire through his life, through that campus, and proceeded out of that campus. That fire was kindled here in Akure, and for most people that are gathered here, it was by virtue of that fire, I call trans, a transmission station. You know what they do with transmission station? You, you connect with the generating source and you transmit it to. So that's the understanding that I see of trans. I want to testify that that which is born of God overcomes, overcomes, even death cannot hold it captive. So that fire is, it's not Pastor Joshua that is the custodian of the fire. He just happens to be a channel. And like we have been told, and that fire is connected to that fourth uh, item of that vision, 
transmitting it to the nations. You say, ah, this place that this roof is not even yet completed, how can they be transmitting power to the, state, to the nations? That fire has been transmitted to Benin Republic, to Cote d'Ivoire, to Niger Republic, to Kenya, to Uganda. So don't sit here and think that uh, even this Iju, do they know that any fire has been kindled? Please, let the Lord uh, enlighten our eyes to see that this fire that he has chosen to transmit through here is going far. He is going far. Amen. So it should not in whatever way be, be shut down like we say, oh, it has not held here in Egypt. See, this fire is going far. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. We have a supplementary list. <laughs> Very quickly, sir. Ah, mama, one to pull up all on phone or not. See, all on one bank she share any. Ah, ni wani. One saw ni pati no. Egiti anche. Ah, kuri re ni ti odun ye wipe. Ino ye ti wa. Oto di wipe. Ati elero wipe. Ipa go ti odun ye maje. Ti ton ino. Ti fi ino no. Ni pati. Ah, one baba wani no lu watu anche wani lewe. Ni one ti solo ni pa ino ino. One one to pull up all on wipe all on umu ineri re she. Lati ba no ti ti di akoko ye. Eni oluwa. Alright. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Without wasting much of our time, I want to bless God for what God has done this year. Of course, for me, trance is a unique experience on a yearly basis, but particularly, I want to thank God for this year. In fact, a few weeks or months before now, I'm privileged to also attend meetings, big congressional meetings, but I tell you, the difference is clear. I've been prepared to sit in a meeting where we have millions of people gathered. But for me, what I've experienced this year, comparing, in fact, I have to, I have to travel outside Akure to attend such meetings. But I tell you, God is here. This is really better. This year, every word that has been spoken, in fact, has a bigger weight in my heart. And I believe, I want to en enjoy each and every one of us. Please, let's take our time to go back and listen to these messages. That is one. Number two. Few days before trans, a lot of agitations. Some people came. Ah, why, why did you this time around? Uh, security issues and so on and so forth. And uh, somebody was telling me I just kept quiet, and I was checking my mind. And I was a little bit agitated in the sense that, in fact, this same issue, few years back, I know somebody that retired from oil company, came to this land to do one or two things, and he was kidnapped. And until tomorrow, we didn't see the man. Um, 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 and uh, till today, the wife could not get herself again. If I have to use my good office to make sure that one of the child got a job. This image, you. This image, you. I also know the same thing that happened to somebody very close to us. So when somebody told me that, why did you? Security, you. somebody came. Ah, what are we going to do? It's talking about Amateko. And I said, well, I have contact with the commanders and so on. I said, okay, let's go to the office. You know, how God shocked us. We got there. The commander was not around. They said we should drop a letter. They would get in touch with us. But later, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Today, Amoteku is not here. And God has been securing us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want a man lost him, Padelon in the room, but I mean, on one fee, Lock, resident, last law, share your paddy. She won't let it, but I want him, what's it, Pagoy, Mori Yato, where O Yato see a giti, want a man long, and but that is to bed a ye, go go a war roy, you don't get the loading pepe, go go a long power, Lara Mulodi and she share, Agbara, one day to need Batty, if Pagoy fair bed. Oluka luku bere se ni beru ninu okan re awon ipenija awon eto apoti ani sugbon pelu gbogbo bi won se sapato lati mu awon elesho awon alabu lati dabu awon ko ri won sugbon lati gba ti ati bere olorun dabu bo wa ko se ni to sonu ko se ni to yo kun ninu wa e ja gbi oluwa praise the lord she standing by me now <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
so I don't even want to testify, but since yesterday, so it has been in my mind, but I don't want to say, come out. So I want to testify, uh, testify about the fire that is in the life of daddy. I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Mara, so that's in the, uh, in the life of daddy, Odey, me, and mommy. So when, when I was in school, so the two of them sent me to Nifes. They said that both of them attended Nifes. And Nifes transformed their life. So they sent me there. In fact, in a dying minute, uh, 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 is it two weeks to hand over to the, ne to the next tenure. So they sent me there. So I just said that when I got there, they just, <laughs> the, the next, the first week and the second week, they now did the election. Unfortunately, I just met my name there. They just called me out, say you are the prayer secretary. We have been waiting for you. We have been praying. We have been praying for God to send someone that can, someone that is fit to this, to this position. I'm sorry, Mr. Marissa, it's like that. So, uh, okay, okay, I'm not. So, <laughs> the two of them, they bless my life a lot. So, unfortunately, my, I was born, born for God. But for five years, five years ago, mommy knew what is happened. So, my life is somehow, somehow, somehow. But the year that he died, the Lord revealed mommy. It's as if that, that, I, I, that I'm seeing daddy physically that time. That, that week, that day that I had that daddy dead. In fact, it's as if that I'm seeing him physically. So, he just said that you should go and submit to mommy. That, uh, uh, Mommy's case is like Elijah and Elisha. That daddy have already dropped the mantle for her. That you should go and tap it. I just say, how can I go? When all those things happen to me within that five years, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to. I'm sorry, sir. So in fact, I just... The two of them, they said that, they said that I should come to meet them. So I did not, I said that I can't come. But that year, in fact, the Holy Spirit keep on talking to me to come and meet her. So unfortunately, last year, I just said that, Mommy, the Holy Spirit said that I should follow you. So this year now, so I just said that, mommy, I need to stay with you. So what the Lord did for me, here yesterday, the Lord said that, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to you the more, more than before. Is it on, on Thursday, this daddy, where is this, I don't know his name. So this daddy, this daddy talked to me. On Thursday, that fat daddy that wear blue, he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He said that, he said that, so he said that this trans, <laughs> that the Lord is going to, I'm sorry. That the, I'm, I'm the, not Lord, the Lord visited you. I'm, I'm coming, please, sir. Give me grace. So, <laughs> I just said, this daddy just said that, hmm, this trans, 
the Lord is going, to, is going to turn your life around. So yesterday, the Lord spoke to me there. He said that, do you know that I'm going to speak to you more than before? I said, wow. Immediately, the Lord began to open my eyes because sometimes I will first sleep in. But, I, uh, but during that sleep, I know that, some, that the Lord wants to show me something. So immediately, as I sat there, I began to see different things, different things. When the doctor was ministering, so I not immediately, <laughs> I just saw, saw daddy in a, in a vision. I just saw, saw daddy clamp the pulpit. So, at the same time, I see, see, see another, I, 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 saw, I saw that daddy again. I know that the Lord is just giving me several revelations, several revelations, talking to me in different ways. So, yesterday night, when daddy, daddy was... Preparing us for the fire. So immediately I just saw the dove, the two dove just lie down and um, how can I say? Landed. Landed onto my onto my two shoulders. So I just the fire was keep on burning. Burning. Burning from here to my ear. To this my right here, in fact, it's keep on burning. All my, within me, there is fire. So I want to bless the name of the Lord for the life of mommy and daddy. Daddy is still alive to today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To go on, Luagidi, to go on, Ketetsi, Ogboron, see a shell long, Tiosiwa, Teriba, near the Mamawa, near Long with him, Bornala, Tiosi Tim Bansoro, don't for near when she fire, see a long with him, she let see any Olua. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For all that God has done, why did the testifiers stand and we stand with them? We are going to shout three Hallelujahs. Funti, a long with his shay, and what's in one day? You want to do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. The testimonies are permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to take offering now. It's time to bless our God. Just package your offering. The ushers will go around to collect it. Quiet. Can we be on our feet as we? I go worship him every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship him every day. I go worship. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship him every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship him every day. Jesus. 
Never.